So hi guys, welcome to our new course on operating system project implement your own Linux heap memory manager in C. So this course is an operating system project based course. In this course we will going to build a new Linux heap memory manager, right? The programming language used in this course is C. So let us discuss what are the aims or objective of this course. In this course we will going to implement our own heap memory manager which can be used to allocate and free the memory. Our heap manager would show you the statistics analyzing which you can catch memory leaks. Our heap manager will show the statistics which are being currently in use for every object which is being malloced by your application. We will going to reinvent the wheel with little modifications such that our heap manager will going to address the problem of fragmentation. And using this project we will going to understand the internal design and implementation of a standard memory related functions such as malloc or free. In fact we will going to reinvent the wheel and we will going to write the implementation of malloc and free in our own words. With this project you have one additional feather to your hat. Feel free to make a mention of this course on your resume and impress the interviewer or catch the eyeballs of the employers. And as an open-ended extension of this project, it is possible to visualize the memory usage of the application graphically. However, this extension is not a part of the project because it require a front-end programming and therefore it is an open-ended extension of this project. If you know front-end programming or if you develop certain GUI then this then you can go ahead and implement the extension of this project. So in fact most companies which are working in the system programming domain they do not use malloc or free directly for memory allocation to their application. They build their own custom memory managers on top of malloc and free calls. Right? So in this course we will going to do something similar. So that at later point when you will be working in the industry, you really do not feel completely unfamiliar with the customized memory manager that the companies are using for their technology stack. And let me show you the quick demonstration of this complete product. So you can see on the screen, I'm simply running some random application, right? This application is using the Linux memory manager that I have already built. Now, let me show you the memory usage of every structure that this application is using or my logged from our heap memory manager. So you can see on the screen that this application make use of the structures which are listed on the left hand side. Of course, you need not know what is the definition of each of these structure. The bottom line is that, that we have some random application which is making use of our Linux heap memory manager, right? And you can see that against each structure, there is some statistics against it, right? So for example, prefix underscore t is a structure which is used by the application total number of memory blocks which is being used for the object of type prefix underscore t are 72 and out of these 72 memory blocks the free blocks are 0 and all the 72 blocks are occupied blocks right so tbc stands for total block count fbc stands for free block count and obc stands for occupied block count the total memory that is being used by the objects of type prefix underscore t is 8064 bytes. So you can see that our Linux heap memory manager is allowing the developer to have an access to the statistics which conveys a lot of information about the memory usage of the application. Not only that, you can also check the details regarding per structure. So for example, I am triggering the command debug show memory usage details and passing the name of the structure whose statistics we are interested in. So you can see that as a result of triggering this command, our Linux heap memory manager is showing certain statistics. So it shows that the size of one page of a virtual memory is 8192 bytes. So 8192 bytes is the size of one virtual memory page, 
right? And this virtual memory page is being used to allocate memory for the structure of type TLFA info T, right? So this is just some structure that is being used by application. You need not know the definition of this structure. The size of this structure is 232 bytes. So the following statistics shows that a virtual page has been divided into 11 blocks, block number 0 to block number 10. And all the blocks from block number 0 to block number 9 is being used by the application and therefore they are marked as allocated. The size of each block is same that is 232 bytes. And the last block in this virtual page is a free block. We will use this free block to assign more memory as requested by the application for the objects of type TLF info T, right? So basically this is the detail of exactly one page of a virtual memory which is being used to assign memory for the objects of type TLF info T to the application. We will going to get comfortable with these statistics in pretty much more detail when you will be actually doing this project. For now, I am just trying to give you an idea that what actually you are going to build as a part of this course. So this project will going to be very interesting project and you will be going to design and write a tool which could be used to allocate and deallocate memory to the application. In fact, through this project, you are taking the steering wheel in your hand for all the memory management which you usually use using standard memory related functions such as malloc or free. So this is a very short brief demo to give you an idea regarding what you will be going to build in this course.